My lord, you have a visitor. Day. I do hope you demonstrate a little more decorum in front of Commodore Norris. After all, it's only through his efforts that Port Royal has become at all civilized. Hmm? Why bother with that? You could have escaped if you'd killed me before, but you weren't willing to use it. Are you advising me that was a mistake? When you've only got one shot, it's best to wait for the opportune moment. That wasn't it. Nor is this. Made or not, it suits you. Dare I ask the fate of its previous owner? Now, none of that. Please. Dig in. We should escape this wretched pit as quickly as possible. With a crew. Ah, yes, sir. Well, it just so happens that you know the man 
who knows the men, who knows the finest sailors in all Tortuga. Just the one. Let's make it last then, eh? <laughs> Take what you can. Give nothing back. Kid's a bit of a stick, isn't he? You've no idea. Captain, what if the worst should happen? Keep to the code. Aye, the code. Is she there? No. Where is she? It's begun. Partner, a dip partner. Parlay? That's the one. Parlay! Parlay! Parlay? Down to the depths, whatever mutton had thought of parlay! French. Latin based, of course. Inventors of mayonnaise. I like mayonnaise. Shame about the French, really. Obsessed with raisins. Humiliated grapes, really. Think about it. Don't know. Terrific singers, the French. Eunuchs, all of them. That's not right. I used to date a eunuch. I'll get me a coat. It's the second time I've had to watch that man sail away with my ship. It's really not all that big, is it? If you're going to shoot me, please do so without delay. Is there a problem between us, Miss Swan? You are going to tell Barbosa about the will in exchange for a ship. We could use a ship. The fact is, I was going to not tell Barbosa about bloody will in exchange for a ship, because as long as he didn't know about bloody will, I had something to bargain with, which now no one has. Thanks to bloody stupid Will. Oh. Oh. He still risked his life to save ours. Ah! So we have to do something to rescue him. Off you go, then. Let me know how that turns out. But you were marooned on this island before, weren't you? So we can escape in the same way you did then. To what point and purpose, young Missy?
Welcome to the Caribbean, love. So, is there any truth to the other stories? Truth? truth at all. We still have a month, maybe more. Keep a weather eye open for passing ships, no chances of it. And what about Will? Do we have to do something? You're absolutely right. Here's luck to you, Will Turner. Home. What was that, Elizabeth? It's Miss Swan. Nothing. Just a song I learned as a child when I actually thought it would be exciting to meet a pirate. Let's hear it. No. Come on, we got the time. Let's have it. No. I'd have to have a lot more to drink. How much more? We're down on the Sachi. We're really bad. I need to go. Yo, 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 he will accompany these fine men to the helm and provide us with a bearing to Ila de Muerto. You will then spend the rest of the voyage contemplating all possible meanings of the phrase, silent as the grave. Do I make myself clear? Inescapably clear. Commodore, I must question the wisdom of this. With all due respect, Governor. Mr. Turner is a subject of the British Crown and therefore under my protection. Rightly so. Take care of her. Elizabeth. I'm concerned that your answer was perhaps less than sincere. I would not give my word lightly. Yes, I understand. But is it so wrong that I should want it given unconditionally? It is not a condition, it is a request. Your answer would not change mine. You are a Fine man, James. Well, very well. Excellent. Give me timbers. Courtney says you missed a bit. Notice neither did you. For the same reason, I imagine. He wouldn't have risked it. Could have gotten him drunk. Don't get me wrong, love. I admire a person who's willing to do whatever is necessary. You're a smart man, Jack. But I don't entirely trust you. 
peas in a pod, darling. With me, Sparrow. Take a walk. Up to the boys. you pick to eat first? I think we should decide now. Just so we're ready when the time comes. I was thinking cake. I was thinking cake too. <laughs> you cut. I'll choose. The immortal Captain Jack Sparrow has such a lovely ring to it. And it's not a bad look, really. Hey. Jack. Good luck. This is a beautiful sword. I would expect the man who made it to show the same care and devotion in every aspect of his life. My compliments. Thank you. Oh, and Miss Swan. The very best of luck to you both. Sparrow. Shall we prepare the Dauntless for pursuit? Well, I think we can afford to give him one day's head start. <laughs> <laughs> 